Hi, today we will know how Linux machine will integrate to Windows AD and how we can manage uh, the Linux boxes from the Windows Active Directory. Hi, uh, so let's start. So here is my DC, I mean domain controller. Uh, its name is DC1 cloudgpt.com. Let me log in it here with administrator I am login but probably when you are working in the in your organization in the production environment probably you will not get chance you know to log in with this administrator account so you should have your own account to log in so let me log in here okay so this is my windows active directory environment I have a DC you know the cloud gpt.com and this is uh, our sent OS uh, one I mean CentOS 7 this is let me log in with the root account here okay okay there are some settings I probably missing here let me configure the DNS I forget to update the DNS here let me done that and we'll come back to the our uh, today's lesson okay so yeah here it is there let me create uh, okay, a record has been already created I mean reversion is not created let me create the reversion here primary okay so it should be like a reverse I no need to put entire IP this will be enough for me I think now the PTR record has to be created, you know, right? How the why reverse lookup is needed for the ID it's to reverse, you know, for the reverse lookup. We have already forward lookup, so I've just configured reverse lookup. Okay, now come to uh, the point. So today we will, you know, learn like how Linux machine can be integrated to Active Directory and how we can manage those Linux boxes from Active Directory side, like kind of you know, permission or kind of SSH you know so these all things will understand in this chapter let's go one by one okay so before understand this is the press OS I have installed okay let me open the uh, command prompt here I mean terminal okay if you see here um, host name okay so the host name is server one okay so it is not joined to any domain it's just kind of you can say workgroup machine it's a first installation of CentOS 7 and its name is server 1 right so before you know manage this machine uh, from the active directory uh, we need to join this machines to uh, uh, windows uh, windows active directory as you know like in a windows active directory okay let me open the console here uh, for you like uh, active directory user and computers if you go here in Windows 80 I don't have any machines here right even though anywhere right so what I will do here let me let me uh, let me join this machine uh, to Windows 80 so it will show our um, forest name is cloud gpt.com right so let's do that but before joining to the domain it is not like a straightforward you will join to the domain there are some packages has to be installed and something you need to be taken uh, before you know um, integrate to the ed okay first thing see first here um, let's check the firewall status Okay. if see this firewall is running right so I don't mind uh, uh, in the production environment or in your organization how they manage the firewall and uh, you know security layer I don't know but for my this is the you know practice level and this is the uh, testing environment so I want to disable this you know uh, firewall uh, it might be you know in your organization maybe you know uh, why I'm telling this disable this because you know each and every organization using their you know firewall layer right in the network layer there will be firewall and also they have antivirus why you need again the firewall because local firewall will you know it will block some ports allow some ports so that will create the mess of when the when in the connection perspective so I don't want to be anything here to disturb so that's the reason I wanted to be disable this okay so for the disable you can system CTL you can stop this okay 
okay now it has been stopped also we can probably disable let's see if I could do that okay so firewall services also have been disabled here right so if you go to the status now if you want to see the firewall so it's not running actually okay uh, that's fine so why I'm why I did this I told you it's a security reason now second thing uh, I mean there is another kind of thing get enforce right let's let's check the get enforce command okay uh, I mean if you see that it is enforcing it is kind of one kind of another security level from the Linux perspective probably this is not the lesson where we need to understand the security layer but as a this is testing environment let me make it to something set enforce zero okay now if you see this things it's a <laughs> permissive okay so this kind of security you can understand on the maybe you know next you know uh, part of the video or you can get it from the you know uh, the red Hat site as well what is this and what is the secret there are three kind of secure layer are there in this enforcement so you can uh, check that okay okay now <laughs> next what what things we need to do you know for this okay uh, to join to the Windows AD we need to install some uh, packages actually uh, you can we can install that through this command yum y install okay real realmd triple sd okay so this you should be you know know how you know things will work uh, I mean to integrating this you need to you know install these packages actually let me install this so mkdi it's not required this one this, this is fan now and adcli is command okay And also we need a Samba sorry I need to forget this put this space Samba tools but uh, yeah Samba tools I can put here KRB carburetor is also we need KRB 5 workstation okay okay so I am wrong here it should be KRB I type wrong okay now I delete this yep. so I don't need this let's install it so this package you has you have to be installed um, it will take some time depending upon your uh, network speed so let's wait uh, till complete this uh, installation okay I think this has been completed you could see here uh, the installation has been uh, no, completed let me go edit uh, I think something view zoom in okay this will fine I think so now <laughs> let me ping cloud gpt.com yes I'm able to ping that as well but before that there is one thing I I wanted to do it because we don't want to be mess up something you know later on we might be you know get the error so you know you know, you know I want to disable the uh, AC Linux as well so let's do that for that you what you will go that is uh, AC Linux also is kind of security layer uh, you can uh, go through and go through with you know some uh, you can do it Google or somewhere you can see that 
um, or else I can you know make this one more video in the later time so to understand what is the SC Linux and what are the security layers are there security parameters are there so we can discuss on that part but now I wanted to be you know uh, disable this for my test as it's a testing environment okay so for that I want to edit the file of uh, SC Linux so I will go to the etc and uh, sysconfig this way yes and sc linux okay so if you go here there is no such option is available let me insert and edit let me put it sc linux equal to disable okay now done i'll do this this is nothing just this is not a prerequisites but you know as a testing environment it might be chances to you know block something uh, when we do our tasks so to avoid those errors i'm just doing this but in when you're doing in your environment in production make sure you know these things if it is recommended by your organization you has you should not be disabled those okay so now what are things we did actually as of now we did the firewall disable we did the sc linux disable we did the um, uh, the realm s triple st package also install or software we have installed that one now let's go to the network okay so now let me check the network what the is there etc sorry hmm. this config network drug script we check that what are these things are there here if you see uh, if cfg ens33 this is our the network okay so what i will do i will use the same command but uh, I need to edit I need to edit something here let's me vi hmm. cfg hyphen ens 33 okay so here I will put one more things Just to do that let's enter so insert and coming to here make you put your domain name so domain equal to sorry equal to um our domain is cloud gpt.com okay the channel for us because uh, this will help us to search the domain so i mention it here okay wq just save it now all is ready here we have mentioned this one as well uh, as we change some network here so make sure that you should restart uh, network service okay okay I have been restarted the network services now let's uh, you know um, you know first before join to the domain let's discover discover whether our domain is able to discover right for that what you will you use the command realm r e a l m discover our domain cloud gpt dot com okay let's wait if it, it is discoverable then it's very good actually for us we can able to join the domain but let's wait for some time because yeah so if you discover it will tell you know the active direct information but it is not able to discover right uh, one more thing uh, it is not discover the reason maybe um, okay let me restart the uh, because we install this right uh, triple st uh, package triple st package right let me restart the services um, okay the system is just on all failed so this is because we've installed probably we need to be reboot the server let's reboot one more time okay um 
okay let's reboot it the server and then we will log in again and we will check uh, whether um, i mean uh, whether we are able to discover or not okay and also there is one thing i wanted to highlight here when when we, as we have installed the triple sd right that is the uh, one of the software it will help to join your id so let me log in now okay Okay, now it is in join. So let me open the uh, utility again terminal here. Okay, so host name. Yeah, it's our one. Okay, now now realm discover. Our domain now it should be you know um, discover but that's that's my expectation it should be well, let's see how it is happening but can we ping this We are able to ping this okay nothing to do because all things been installed been rebooted also 